you did a lot of this movie in Mexico, is it? In Mexico City, in the studio Cherubrusco, we shot that. It would have been uh, too expensive to do it in this country. Because, it, you know, whenever you do a film that is like a futuristic film with Mars and uh, it's blue screen shooting and special effects like this, it costs a lot, a lot of money. And we saved around 10, 12 million dollars by doing it in Mexico. And it is still that the movie was like 48 or 50 million dollars the way it was. You know, it was very expensive. But Mexico is a wonderful place to shoot. You know, it's a, really, they're very cooperative. They help you every way they can. And it's, it has that futuristic look, certain buildings in Mexico City, which we needed because we, our film takes place 2084. So we needed a real futuristic look. Uh, good margaritas down there when you oh, break. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> good margaritas. And uh, it, it was good, good Mariachi bands, you know, they come to the studio and they play the music, which lightens up the whole atmosphere a little bit. It was really a great atmosphere down there. We really loved it. Yeah. Um, you had two co-stars, or leading ladies, I should say, in this movie. Uh, one I've been hearing a lot about because I guess she's done a nude layout. And, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I have. And um, another lady who's, who's actually here tonight, tell me about the two ladies well, uh, first of all as you know when you do those action films a lot of times you don't have a chance to have a love interest in a film I mean although the studio wants to put them in all the time but I'm really against that to throw a woman in just for the sake of having her in there to sell a few extra tickets mm -hmm. and you know one time during the shooting of Predator I had this phone call from uh, from the studio saying you know you got to put in uh, some woman and have some hanky-panky going on in there, so we sell extra few tickets. So I say, how do you expect me to do that? You know, here I'm running through the jungle. The ten, <laughs> ten guys, ten guys, uh, ten of my soldier friends are getting killed by this predator that is chasing us down, and he's about to kill me. Do you want me to say to the girl, let's go around the bush and have a little nookie here? You know, <laughs> and the guy is laughing me out. It doesn't work, right? So... So the guy says, yeah, you, I guess you have a point, you know, so the studio executive, you know, they're really smart guys. And, uh, so, so anyway, so, but this time it was written in the story. It was part of the story. And now I'm trying to make up for the lost time, you know, mm -hmm. because a few movies that didn't have any love interest. In this movie, I have two. And this is just to make up for it. But we have in the beginning we have with Sharon Stone, the movie starts out with a really wonderful love scene. Mm -hmm. And, um, of course, when I shot that scene, I have to admit, when my wife called, she says, how was it the day, the shooting? Mm -hmm. I said, oh, it was this love scene. I said, believe me, that the stunt guy had to do all the work. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know. But what are you going to say, right? When she pumps you and says, well, how was it? How did you get along with her? And did you have to do it naked in bed and all these kind of things? You know, these nosy questions wives have usually. Mm -hmm. but, uh, so, so, so anyway, so I, you know, I blamed it all on the stunt guy. So mm -hmm. that, that was taken care of. But then, of course, uh, after the middle of the movie, when I get to Mars, there is my real love interest. The other one was a fake one. It was from a fake memory implant, where I believed that I was married for eight years, but in fact, I was not. She was just set up to be there and to, to make me believe she's my wife, but she wasn't really. But later on on Mars, there was my real love interest, which was played by Rachel Ticketon, who right. is uh, here tonight, hopefully, well, because now, I told now, her to come by. I, I think I and do see Rachel over there. But who has three breasts? Somebody has three breasts in this movie. I mean, you know, this is a time where you wish you have three hands, right? Who's the actress that has the three breasts? Well, it was a makeup job. I mean, the women are not grown yet that way, you know? I mean, maybe in the future, in the year 2084, they will be, but right now they're not. And, uh... It's too bad, isn't it? <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but anyway, in this case, uh, they, it was a great makeup job done. Mm -hmm. And I walk into the spa and I'm asking uh, for Melina, mm -hmm. which is uh, the Rachel Ticketon is playing that character. And uh, all of a sudden, this woman turns to me and she says, can I help you? And there I look down, I go, wait a minute. One, two, three, God. <laughs> You know, I can't handle that. And then I <laughs> ran away for Rachel Thicken, you know. So anyway, so that's what happened. There was the makeup job in a movie mm -hmm. with the people in there. It's the most extraordinary makeup that you have seen. I mean, just not the three breasts alone, but the, the way there's a, the way that you see the, the, the mutants and the various different characters that you see in a film is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's really incredible. I think which adds a lot to the picture. Let's, if she doesn't mind, let's, like, bring Rachel out. Where's to the Rachel? Office. Come on, Rachel. Let's Rachel. come out here. Let's uh, give her a hand. Come on now. Hi, Rachel. It's a pleasure to meet you.
Yes. Yeah, I've come close. I mean, uh, we were close enough in the movie. I should movie. have worn pants. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Don't forget your wife is over there behind us. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what does he like to work with? Impossible. Really? Wait a minute, let's Wait. not do that. Can you believe this, how nosy he is? <laughs> well, actually, you know what it is? It's, he, it, there's just incessant teasing on the set. You can't do anything. You can't trip if you're, like, going off and you've finished your, your take and you're just going to dress him and you trip. You hear this voice from way behind in the set going, I saw that! <laughs> you can't do anything without him teasing you about it. So, of course, the, the, the aim of the game is to tease him. But everybody got him back. Don't you get, like, beat up and kicked around a lot in this movie? Oh, God. I mean, I've never been involved in any film where I've been beaten up that much as in Total Recall. Mm -hmm. And not beaten up it's by guys. You. Yeah, I, I, you kept saying this to me. I understand <laughs> it. It's very... I appreciate your advice. But, uh, but let me just tell you, I've been kicked, first of all, in the beginning of the movie, I've been kicked uh, by my supposedly wife. Mm -hmm. For three days, we shot a, a fight scene where she had to kick me in the growings over and over and over. And I had stunt pads down there, and I had everything that I, you can imagine. But, but even I the, pads are, the pads are connected to the groin. The yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not like they hooked to the thigh out yeah. here someplace. You know, right. you know I, mean, I mean, we should have followed... Contact is made. I should have followed his advice and wore condoms. Maybe they would have helped for this case. <laughs> You had a rubbery on a boing. Exactly. <laughs> but if that wasn't enough, then uh, when later on in the film we go to Mars, and there, of course, I get into a scene with her where I don't remember her because I have been deprogrammed. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going through this scene. I tell her that I don't remember you, and she says, what's the matter with you? You know, what, what fell on your head? And she turns around and she smacks me. So, of course, when you do stunts like that or hits like this, you, you miss, you know. You just brush by and you shoot it in such a way that uh, you, you, it looks believable, but you miss. But the Rachel, for some reason or the other, had made a mistake four times and smacked me full blast in the face, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, talking oh, about someone, yeah, and you like it, right? Thanks a lot. I mean, really appreciate that. I can't believe That's that she smacked me full blast. <laughs> Yeah. But maybe you can explain that if this really was a mistake, or, uh, or maybe you can be honest now. We are on a show remember, where you can be actually. honest. I think that scene when we shot it, that's when we had the earthquake in Mexico City. That was the earthquake sure. was that morning, six point eight. Sure. And then we that shot was the scene. It. That was the that, reason. That was the reason. Yeah, that was. That was the reason. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah that's You were it. still a little nervous. Yes, I was. I was. <laughs> I wanted to get back at somebody, and he was the only one there. So. You but, know what. Rachel was mad a love interest in a, in a movie, so this is the second one that you're talking about, love interest. Oh, well, I'm that. glad you, you came out. I, I wish we could talk longer. We're, we're all out of time. When does the movie open? June 1st. There you are. Total Recall. Mm -hmm. So Total Rachel recall. and Arnold, and we'll be back with the Pointer Sisters in a minute. Go check them out, y'all.